his memory was me. that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember Lord your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Frank our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant Thomas, whom you have called from this world yourself. Grant that he, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have done your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that you, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Thomas More, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, you may merit to be cursed to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'll do my best to get through this. I will try. Um, if you know my father, he was one word that described him, and that would be gratitude. And I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge some of the wonderful people who have been in his life. Uh, to begin with, I'd like to thank you all for being with us today to celebrate the life of a very special person talking. Thank you, Father Michael, Sister Judy, Alex, and Debbie, and Chuck, and the entire St. Thomas More community. On April 30th of this year, I went into my father's room at Palmer Ranch to say goodnight to him at about 7.30 p.m. His eyes flew open when he heard the familiar voice. They fluttered as if to ask, 
when did you get here? I whispered in his ear that we, his children, and Margie, were all okay, and we loved him very much. In his halting, stuttering, almost indiscernible voice, he said, I don't know where I'd be without my family. I repeated that to him to make sure I heard him, and he shook his head. My reply to him was, I don't know where we would be without you, Dad. Along those lines, I don't know where my father would be without each and every one of you. Maybe you were the gold standard for being a neighbor in Huntington and a lifelong friend. Thank you, Mrs. Barry. Uh, maybe you appeared like an angel four years ago with your crew and set us up with home watch caregivers. Thank you, Jody. And thank you, Lori. Maybe you skillfully managed the caregivers that so beautifully cared for my father over the past three and a half years. Thank you, Greg. And thank you to the wonderful caregivers that you hired to take care of my father. In particular, thank you, Renee, for all the love you gave my father. Uh, maybe you came to visit my father and announced enthusiastically upon seeing my father, my man. And my father's face lit up with a great big smile and his eyes searched for you. Thank you, Alex. Maybe you faithfully visited my parents during the past 22 years, driving up from Englewood to enjoy the with my parents. Thank you, Pauline and Bob Grimes. Maybe you assured us eight years ago, when we started this journey, that Tom would thrive at the Senior Friendship Center in the living room setting. And oh boy, you were so right. He loved the Senior Friendship Center. Thank you, Paul Buck. Maybe you kept a very special close eye on Tommy at Palmer Ranch Healthcare and Rehab Facility. Thank you, Giselle. And thank you to each and every staff member at Palmer Ranch for the extraordinary care that my father received during the past seven months. And maybe you had the honor of calling him your brother for the last 84 years. Thank you to Aunt Mary, his devoted sister. Thank you to his beloved nieces and nephews, some of whom are here. Thank you, Paul Butler, Mary Ellen, and Maureen Butler, and to all the others that aren't here in spirit.